Welcome to iLecture Online and here's a nice little example, a simple one for that, in order to, for us to learn how to find the slope, the concavity, the max, the min, and inflection points on any given graph. So here, I think you right away can recognize that this is a parabola. So in this case, you're only going to find either maximum or minimum. Uh, there's not going to be any inflection points, but let's go to the process. The process is the same no matter what function you're starting with. So the first thing you want to do is to find max and min points on the graph, and you can do that by finding the first derivative. So to find, to find max or min points, And you will also, with the very same technique, find the horizontal inflection points. So plus the horizontal inflection points. You're going to, you're going to take the first derivative. So you get f prime of x, which is equal to 2x minus 5. And then to find those points, you set the f prime of x equal to zero. That makes a lot of sense because remember, when you're trying to find any horizontal points on the graph, that's where the slope is zero. So since the first derivative of a function is a slope, and if you then set it to zero, you will find the values of x where the slope is zero. So we set f prime of x equal to zero, which is equal to 2x minus 5, which means that 2x equals 5, or x equals 2.5. So at x equals 2.5, there's only one point, the slope is zero. Does that mean that that's a maximum or a minimum? No, not necessarily. It could also be a horizontal inflection point. We don't know yet. But before we go any further, let's find the corresponding y value of that point. So we're plugging this value back in the original function, which is f of x equals 2.5, to find the corresponding y value of that maximum, minimum, or horizontal inflection point. So this is equal to 2.5 squared minus 5 times 2.5 plus 6. So this is equal to 6.25 minus 12.5 plus 6, which is equal to 6.25 plus 6, which is equal to 12.25. So when x is equal to 2.5, uh, y is equal to 12.25. So at that location, we have a, a place on the, on the graph where the slope is 0. So let's graph that. Let's put the graph over here. So when x is 2.5, 1, 2, 2.5 right there, then y is 12.25, so that's here, and we draw a little horizontal line. So that location right there is either a maximum, a minimum, or a horizontal inflection point. So how do we know it's either maximum min or horizontal inflection point? Well, to do that, we take the second derivative. So to find which of those things are, uh, which of those which of those things, it may be a max, min, or inflection point, we take the second derivative. So f double prime of x is equal to, and we take the derivative of the derivative, we get 2. Now, that means that for all values of x, the second derivative is positive. So positive for all values of x. So what does that mean if it's positive for all values of x? That means that the concavity is positive. So concavity is positive or concavity is up. So if the concavity is up at that particular location, then it's not an inflection point because for that to be an inflection point, the concavity should be zero because that's at the boundary of being concave up to concave down or concave down to concave up. So if it's not zero, if the second derivative is not zero, then it's not an inflection point. That means it must be a max or a min. And since the concavity, uh, since the second derivative is always positive for all values of x, that means the concavity must be up. So that means I must have something that looks like this. All right, if that's the case, Therefore, I'm dealing with a minimum point. So where x is equal to 2, uh, 2.5 and y is equal to 12.25, I have a minimum point on the graph. The concavity is up, so it must look like some, something like that. All right. 
Other things that I can do is find out what the slope is on the, to the left and to the right of that value. So what is the slope? Slope is equal to question mark to the left and right of that max or min point. To the left and to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my first derivative right here and I'm going to plug in values to the left and to the right of this particular critical point where the slope is zero. So for example, what is f prime of x when x is equal to 2, which is to the left? And since my derivative is 2x minus 5, I write 2 times 2 minus 5, which is 4 minus 5, which is negative. It's a negative 1, which means my slope is negative right there. That means negative slope. So to the left of that point, I know I have a negative slope, which is what it looks like right there, based upon my conc concavity. And if I take a point to the right, so f prime of x equals 3, that is equal to 2 times 3 minus 5, which is 6 minus 5, which is a positive one. So therefore, I have a positive slope there. So to the right of the point, I have a positive slope. So now I have everything I need to know. There's only one point where the slope is 0, right here. I determined by taking the second derivative that was not an inflection point, that since the concavity was up, therefore I was dealing with a minimum. If I then take the slope and evaluate the slope to the left and to the right, in other words, I plug in a point to the left and to the right of this particular point in the, to the first derivative, I can find out where the slope is negative and where the slope is positive, and so I know now that I'm dealing with a parabola that looks like this. All right. And that's how you find max, mins, inflection points. That's where you find what the slope is at any point on your graph, and that's where you find the concavity of your function at any point along your function. Okay, that was a simple example. Let me try something a little bit more challenging to see if we can come up with the same conclusions.